begins the next uh, gameplay. Rush poor Valdez again, but this time I'm attacking. And uh, here I use the recon kit, and here's a perfect example of what the recon kit is you supposed to do. I do go positive, we do win. Uh, I do not really get into the fray. Uh, I do once, but in the end, you you, you kind of get destroyed if you're a recon and you don't. Well, if, if you get too close to the action, uh, you're kind of overstepping your boundaries. So the sniper rifle I'm using is the SV98 Sniper Sky. It's my favorite sniper. Uh, it's the sniper rifle that I have four stars, uh, four gold stars on. Uh, every gun you have will get you, will net you stars. So every gun you get, uh, you get a gold star. Uh, for I believe every hundred kills you get. So for every hundred kills you get, you would get a gold star. Now, once you get all the way to 10, then you get a platinum star. If I'm not mistaken, I don't have any platinum star guns, so I'm not sure about how that works. But as you can see, I'm really, it's actually, I'm pretty good with it. Um, it is one of my better classes, kits to use. As you can see, uh, as you hear my character say enemy infantry and stuff, and got it, you know, spotted some infantry over, stuff like that. I'm pressing the select button in this game, it's the spot button. Uh, so you can mark vehicles, you can mark enemies. So this is what the sniper's job is supposed to do. The sniper's job is supposed to spot, is to continually spot for enemies, look for enemies, and just point that out to, the, to their teammates on the ground level so that they know where the main forces are, so that they could you know, make flanking routes, stuff like that. So this game is extremely tactical if played the right way. Okay. You, sometimes there are people, uh, I should have got that kill, but I didn't really aim for it. Uh, there's some people in this game sometimes that will, I don't know, they won't, they don't really tolerate recon kit for some apparent reason. So I, I'm not really sure how this works, but so they kind of rush me. They kind of rush people sometimes. Uh, if you play Fort Valdez and you're here right where I'm at, there will be sometimes people who will just rush up to the hill side that I'm at on and will just kill you. I don't know why, but as you can see, uh, the SV-98 is an interesting sniper. It's the only sniper with the triangle reticle sights for the scope. It's the one I personally enjoy because of that. Uh, it's easier to aim. A lot of people use one of the enemy snipers. Over. A lot of people will use the Gold Sniper Magnum. Uh, the Gold Sniper Magnum is a pretty powerful one, but it's it's only sh like straight line crosshairs, so you don't have any like little mark ticks that can help you. Enemy sniper spotted. Over. And here I kind of get a little too slow on the return. He. He, he kind of punishes me for it. The SU-98 sniper sky is a really good sniper if you want to use it. And what I use is the 12, as is my specs for that. It's a 12 op, 12 optical scope, which means it's increased zoom. It is. Here I try to get cheeky and try to get a mortar strike off the parachute landing. And not, no, I'm not really too bright on that. And then I also use Magnum Ammo, uh, which really damages a lot of people. I think it's like upper chest and head probably can get you a good kill. But still, the SV-98 is a headshot only weapon. Uh, if you want to use it, you should headshot. And here, he gets me, but uh, he's a little bit too slow on his aim. Because uh, some of it is a little reaction. And as you can see, as I've stated in my uh, prologue video, we got both bases, so we take both bases and we get a replenisher of tickets, and both bases are taken, so we move on to the next two objectives.
this gameplay is a little slow. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, recon kit in this game is very slow. You won't really get any gameplay that will be, I don't know, truly spot on. It's really hard to get. So, you, it, your best bet, honestly, if you want to play fast-paced, but you still want the tactical gameplay that this game offers, play Assault, because that'll get you into the fray. Shoot. Enemy Word of advice, the only area. people to really take any vehicles head-on would be the engineers. Because they have the power. So if you're playing Assault and you're kind of pushing into the fray, watch out for vehicles, because those can really down you out if you're not careful. And th at this point, uh, in Port Valdez, it's a really, it's a kind of works, a weaving map. Uh, this, after the first two objectives. It's kind of hard to see in the second two. So it's a little difficult for me to really spot, get my team advantages. And it's really difficult because of all the trees. So I move a little bit later on, if I'm not mistaken, to get a better, yep, here we go. I think I move up and just like, screw this, I need to get a better vantage point for my team. So I move out to the side. I get more of a better vantage point to see if I can get anything. And I do a little bit. And see, like I said, this is more like a spotting device. Usually what I'll do is I'll spot someone before I snipe them. Because if I spot them, if there's any nearby uh, teammates in the area, they can definitely take them out for me if I miss. Or maybe if I get a hit on them and I don't kill them. So I still get the assist, but the, I, it makes my team aware if I fail the kill. Uh, they are aware of where the enemy is, where his location. It makes... Excuse me. It makes the gameplay a lot... It makes it a lot easier for any other support classes that aren't recon. Uh, I've played as other, other kits, of course. But uh, I don't really do really well without a sniper. Uh, in other words... I, my best gameplay is with not playing the recon kit is with a bunch of people playing recon consciously and vigilant, vigilantly spotting and really looking out for all the enemies and their, and their strong points and where there's a choke point that I can take advantage of if I'm using another kit. So, I think the reason why I play the... It, it's the he's kind of the back... He's the silent guy, he's in the behind the scenes, but he, I be, the recon kit, I believe, is one of, is the most important support roles in this game. Excuse me, guys, I'm sorry. Um, if you don't have a good enough, uh, or you, you just don't have, like, any recon kit guys going around, or you don't have a good enough recon kit. Then you guys aren't doing it. Then your team is really It's imperative, I believe, it's imperative that you that every team should have at least one to two uh, recon kit people always spotting, always on the fray, always throwing their motion mines. I kind of fail in this game throwing a lot of motion mines. But I, I mainly use them for defense because since you're always far away, from the action. Jesus Christ, I'm really tired. As such far away from the action, there is a kind of uh, leeway that by motion mines, you have to throw them. So I won't really get that. I don't know how you say it. Like, I won't get... It won't benefit my team. And right here, I just spot behind. Uh, that's also a good tip to do. Uh, if you have a great team going, uh, I, I play with friends sometimes, and we always randomly select kits. We always cater out to what we want to use. And we oh, I, when, when I play with my squad, my friends of four, um, we always decide that we're going to play uh, whatever the other person's not going to play, so that we can have a balanced out team. And we always have a team that's always working together. Fortunately, I'm going solo on this one, but. 
usually spot vehicles just so that if there's an engineer on the fray, maybe he's nearby, maybe he has a tracer gun or something, he can get out there and he can use uh, his anti-tank uh, launchers and uh, destroy the vehicle so it can clear a path for your, for your uh, main assaulters or anybody else trying to get to the bomb sites to plant. And here I kind of stay on the edge. This is kind of like the little dry part of this game. There's a bunch of dry moments, but I still keep spotting. I'm always on the fray. Uh, and if you guys are kind of bored of uh, what I'm doing here, uh, then the recon kit isn't for you guys. I mean, the recon kit is basically this. You will play games that will be dry, that will be drier than this. It is, it will be that slow for most people. And that's not to say that that's bad nor good. That's just to say that you can't really, you can be a really good killer sniper, a guy who is on some bad guys. always on. Oh god damn it! Sorry. Hey, a guy who's always on, on uh, the hill, always getting an advantage. In other words, he's pretty much just there all the time, uh, getting kills or hurting enemies. I but he's not spotted. Like so, so I mean, there's a double-edged sword. I like to play pretty much as the support role. I'm the integral part of it. I'm kind of like sitting back saying, Hey guys, there's a there's a medic over here, or there's light infantry. I, see, I, see some, I got eyes on infantry, in other words, you know, hey, I'm, uh, hey guys, heads up. If you guys in that area, there's an infantry guy right there. Um, usually, if, you're, if you spot a sniper, you say, uh, enemy sniper spotted, I've got eyes on, any, on an enemy shooter, and here the Bradley kind of takes me down. And that's also, you know, saying like, hey guys, heads up, there's a sniper in that ledge over there, be careful, throw a maybe grenade over there, or just set yourselves up defensively so that you can avoid his fight, avoid his uh, point of view. And there was a big yawn for me. <laughs> um, and so here, right here, uh, what I like to do is I like to drive vehicles and then ditch them. Uh, it kind of confuses people. Um, a lot of engineers will just kind of randomly destroy it because they think someone's in it. So it's a really great tool. Uh, it's just I use it as a distraction. I get people all the time. Enemy infantry. So right here, I don't know some ima some imaginary sniper. I didn't really spot him. I didn't see him right, but he he hits me. I think twice. Yeah, he hits me twice. I don't know how he hits me the second time, but he got me. I think it might have been maybe a tank, Bradley maybe, but I'm not really sure on what I got hit by. So. Let me catch a ride with you. And then I accidentally hit the the vehicle, the tank Let's moving down, and I said, Over. Oh, "Let me catch a ride." And right there, that's a perfect moment, opportunity to, to show you guys. Over. That's really what we're all. That's really what like the recon's all about: spotting, counter sniping, doing it whatever you can make sure that it's easier for his team because most of this gameplay if you're playing against a sniper who's there for the kills will pretty much snipe everybody and will try and kill everybody that's what a lot of snipers may do uh, there are some snipers who are successful with doing that but I'm, I'm kind of just a sniper to be I, I don't know I'm just kind of a sniper to just sit back and spot so that's just to tell my team, hey, sniper on that building over there. I'm going to see if I can counter snipe him, but if I'm unsuccessful and he's still there, just so you guys know, you can pick him off or just be wary of his position. And I believe here's the moment where I decide that I need to move up. Uh, I can see that most Count of my team has moved up. Usually, uh, you, you should move up a little bit every time your team is all completely moved up and they've got good positions going. Because, you know, everybody's spawning on, this, on, on our squad mates. So, although I am alone, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep, god damn, I don't know why I keep yawning. Well, it is 4 o'clock in the morning. That is why. I'm going to do one more commentary and go to bed. Dedication for you guys, Jesus Christ. i got to stop doing this, man. But, uh, here I'm going to stop. I lost my train of thought, but I'm going to pick it back up. Here I'm going to stop, hide in the corner, and I'll come back with the next one.